We love St. Martin and hanging out at the beaches, but after a few boat repairs like replacing our starter, it was time to get off the dock and out of the bay and go cruising. All right, you girls ready? I guess, I guess he's he said muscle. The second right. part of... This is Mark, by the way. He's helping. Oh, gee. Uh -oh. <laughs> watch out, Floor. Watch out, watch out. I got this. I got oh this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. We're not I can get it. I can get it. Woo! Wow, that's oh. a boy! <laughs> that's Give a, okay, him more, Make it out of your way. All right, that is Mark. He's kind of the Detroit diesel specialist here in uh, St. Martin. I'll leave his contact info down below if you ever need him. Uh, but, so he is going to, the solenoid is definitely bad, plus the Bendix, um, which where solenoid fires the Bendix out, but it, uh, and that engages with the flywheel, basically it starts turning the engine. Solenoid is weak, and then that Bendix is kind of like, seized up a little and so he's going to take the whole thing apart the starter motor still works which is good news so replace the solenoid which there's plenty of those available and then he's going to kind of basically rebuild the starter and we should be good to go the only other problem is, is that pulling out the starter we broke the uh dipstick off so we got to find a new dipstick which is well so hopefully that doesn't delay us but now that we're not working down there we can turn the air conditioner back on so we are going to head over to the beach today since we can't go anywhere uh, it's a nice day yeah. Yeah, we got some friends we met uh, a couple days ago. Uh, they're on a Bali 48, uh, really a beautiful boat. They're gonna come over and join us and head over there to the beach, Roxy Beach. That's gonna be a DJ. <laughs> We're chilling out there, the girls and friends we made, and then we got these two people working on the boat right here, scrubbing up the boat. Hey guys, <laughs> Flor, you're doing great. Want to keep this recipe in the back of well, this? I, yeah, sure. It's in Spanish too. Yeah, cool. I don't think They're we, giving me crap because we have all our. I don't think we have enough Montreal steak seasoning. We got well, one, two, three, four. Five. Well, that's all you can find down here. You can't find the good steak seasonings down here. You can't. You but know. three? I have not seen you use one of them. Well, <laughs> we cook steaks. We do. When we do cook steaks, we'll, I I don't know. Do you use but, them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and when you said when you got another one of these at the store, I didn't know you already had two. You so can never have too much. That's what you said. Olive yeah. oil. <laughs> Just ask. Oh wait! Surprise! Oh, surprise. another one. Oh, <laughs> See what I got to live with here, guys. We found also a really old coffee that almost looked like black tar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was poisonous. <laughs> Um, I was asking Bobby if the boat came with the French style green beans because they expired all the way back in 2007. 2007. What, what, what year did you get this boat? <laughs> I've had it. I've had it since yeah, 2007. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's great. They're doing all the organizing for me, so I can do boat work. All right, Mark has brought us a starter. This is Mark, we didn't introduce him much on the last Hello. one. Hello. He is the uh, Detroit Diesel Pro here in St. Martin. Yeah, I'm both uh, digitally and dentally challenged. <laughs> all right, but it wouldn't go very far. Right. Now you see it goes all the way out. Right. All right, and that's what it has to do. And I took pictures of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you sent me some. Yeah, and you'll see on the end of the shaft, there's an area about this big that's really rusted. Yeah. And it was keeping that from Oh, and it was on there to the point where I wasn't sure how he's going to get that off. Okay. You know, so <clears throat> that was the big problem there. So remember when I said this arm yeah, the was solenoid, frozen? Yeah. Well, a lot of times they'll freeze up in here, but once I knocked this pen out, mm -hmm. it itself was loose. Okay. So it was... It was all that. It was right there. All right, so now we just got to throw this thing in, hopefully get the dipstick on, and we're good to go. The first thing we got to do with the dipstick... Uh-huh. Oh, get the old one out? Yeah, is to get the old one out. All right, Mark has the rebuilt starter installed. Here comes the moment of truth. All right, you ready? Looking good here now. We're going! Finally, we can got it started. That's a good sound. That's a good sound. You got it started. <laughs> you got it started. Well, thanks for coming to do it, Mark. Appreciate it. And uh, if you're ever down here and need help on your boat, St. Martin, <laughs> got an engine problem, call him. So, all right, I'm gonna walk him out and pay him. You guys excited? 
Yes. So exciting! I am the most excited. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get off the dock well today. We don't have any more problems. I don't think we will. Knock on wood. So, there you go. You guys <laughs> well, have done an amazing job organizing the kitchen and everything. It looks great. I know, we're not done yet. We're gonna organize. No. We're gonna outside. Organize. Yeah, the outside. Space. I like this. I like this. This is I great. Know. Today we've already taken our COVID test, so we'll get the results back from that in a little bit. We're gonna help my friend Gabriel get off the dock over here in about 10 minutes, and then I gotta go check us out. The girl checks out with customs and immigration, and then the girls are gonna go grocery shopping. Grocery shopping mm -hmm. and organizing. And organizing. Yes. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. So my friend Gabriel there, I met him in Marquesas, French Polynesia, just over four years ago. And uh, he happened to come to the same dock. You know, we were here. Right? What a coincidence seeing somebody half the world away uh, and seeing him again. So pretty cool. Have a safe uh, journey. So that boat is uh, Island Packet, I believe it's 48, 2007. I did a video about a boat tour on it. Um, probably linking up here now. And uh, it is for sale, but I bet you by the time this video comes out, that thing's sold, because that's a pretty sought after boat. And uh, so he's sailing it back to the Bahamas right now. And then he'll spend a couple weeks there and then take it to Florida we'll, where he will have it sold. And uh, I bet you by the time this video comes out, it's already done. When we went over the briefing again this time, because we're gonna have to move, so make sure they know how to tie a fin or not, how to handle dock lines. You feeling good? Yeah, yeah. I feel like just great. learning. And where did you see all that stuff in the first place? Uh, the Master Bobby. Well, no, there was some place you saw it before you even met me. Where was that? On the Sailing Doodles? The Sailing Doodle uh, Sailing School. Yeah, I know, every time from every Sierra to Hero. <laughs> Every time he speaks, I'm, I'm back into class, like yeah. even normal things. It's like, let's crack open a beer and I'm yeah, well, back in school. Yeah, you know, back. <laughs> so uh, we're getting ready to get off the dock here in about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so we kind of briefed everything. We're gonna leave the dock here and we're gonna go across the bay over there to the fuel dock, just fuel up here because we don't really need fuel. We'll only take about 200 gallons, but uh, it's gonna be the cheapest place for the rest of the Caribbean, so why not? After a few delays, it felt good to be getting off the dock. This is the worst part. Okay, moment of truth. Hopefully these engines start. All right, we're good to go. Engine started. We go down and check the engine room real quick, make sure nothing's leaking. We're good to go. Yep, that was the oil fill cap that was not on, so gotta check it. With the help of the marina crew, we got off the dock. How was your first experience? I, getting think, I, whew, I think I did so well. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. Floor was like on nodding the And at fenders. the same time she was doing I was the other putting thing. the bottom on the other side. <laughs> and Steph was a teacher so like smooth. you guys Steph stood was this. like and <laughs> there, no. there. But like yeah. in the best way possible. Yes, yes, yes. No. Great teacher. <laughs> All right, so we filled up there uh, at the Island Water World and took uh, 370 gallons, about 1,400 bucks worth of gas. But we haven't put gas in this thing for nearly two months, so it's not too bad uh, considering it's two months. But now we are, uh, we're still 40, 38 minutes until the bridge opens, so we're gonna kind of just go slowly towards the bridge. The Simpson Bay Bridge only opens six times a day, three for inbound traffic and three for outbound traffic. Unfortunately, there are a lot of boats here waiting to get out, and I gotta maintain my position here, so. Alright, the girls have successfully anchored, I believe. How about a group high five? Hey, group high five, come on. <laughs> I think that scream was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm How like, you feeling? you're so evil. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you got, don't go. You want to, you don't want to do it on your belly. All right, so, so the girls are getting cleaned up. 
and there are a couple really big sailboats out there. There's a tall ship that I'm going to take the dinghy out and check out out there. She's all excited. We're doing uh, Latin night, uh, salsa, salsa, salsa dancing. So I mean, yes. I'm not, I suck at it. So no, I'm gonna at teach him. Yeah. We're on a French boat, Jan and uh, Kelly, and it's a uh, Lagoon 450. So, we are gonna all go to dinner and then go dancing. Yeah. All right, ready? All right, go ahead. Give a special acknowledgement to some of our top patrons of all time Jack McDevitt, Vicki White, Steve McDonald, Jeff, North Texas Studio One, Jerry and Terry Nolan, Thayer Bigelow, Jeff Cockroft, Kim Hext, Bo Hayes, and Thad Ekrit. Thank you so much to all of our patrons for making this channel possible. They get lots of extra content like bonus footage and extended scenes, and of course, early videos. Yeah.